Hey, what's going on guys? Just wanted to give you a quick video on how to find time on compound interest. For this problem, we want to know, well, again, what the time is. So we have how long will it take for an account balance to reach $5,824.95 off of a $3,040 investment with a fixed annual interest rate of 6% compounded annually. So again, we're going to find the time because it says how long will it take, okay? So we should know what our compound interest formula is. If you don't know, that's what it is, okay? And I'm gonna write out our values that we have. So we know what A is, our total amount, after it has been compounded. So that's our 5,024.95. Your initial investment, which was the three thousand dollar, oh, I'm sorry, the three thousand forty dollar investment. All right, the interest rate at six percent, which we will convert into a decimal. That's what it looked like, as well as how often it is compounded. In this case, it says compounded semi-annually. Semi-annually simply means two, so that's twice a year. That's twice a year or every six months, however you want to look at it. All right, but again, number of times per year. So again, that's twice a year. All right, so time is what we are looking for. So we know what our values are. Let's plug everything in. Simply this, 58, 24, 95, which is equal to 3,000, whoops, 3,040, all right. 1 plus R, which is 0.06 over 2. And again, N is 2, T is what we're trying to find. So what I normally like to do is combine everything inside the parentheses so that way we have everything that we need. Or you can always divide both sides. I would say let's go ahead and knock that out, actually. So let's start with that first. Let's divide out the principal first, and then we'll come back to the parentheses but either or is fine whichever way is comfortable to you that's the way you would do it and once we do our calculation and find that division of 5824.95 uh, over uh, 3040 we get this value 1.06 one. So I'm going to stop it there because technically it's 1.9161019, you know, so on and so forth. But I'm going to stop it at four significant figures because that's the value that it gave me and it, you know, the values before zero. So on the inside, we're going to simply get, I'm just going to combine them. So that 0.06 uh, divided by 2 is going to simply be 0 0.03 so we're just going to combine it like so okay some may decide to come up with the fraction I would say let's just take the decimal as it is I would say less work okay so how does one try to find time in this case so as we know this part is an exponential function okay so that's what this is so, well, how do we, well, basically turn an exponential function into, well, a linear function? Well, we're going to use the log function or the logarithm, okay? So what's gonna happen is we're gonna do the log of both sides, okay? This is what's gonna happen. So think of it as log base 10. So anytime anybody says they're gonna take the log of both sides, they're assuming that it's log base 10, all right? So we're going to take the log of this side, which is 1.9161, which is equal to this. We're going to take the log of 1.03 to the power of O, um, I'm sorry, power of 2, uh, 2t, okay? So this is what's going to happen. This exponent here is simply going to come down. That's all. So what we're going to do is we're going to simply take the log of both sides 
And then after that, we're going to bring the 2t down. So if we do the log of 1.9161, we're going to get this value. 0 0.2. Two, eight, two, four. All right, again, I'm using four significant figures. All right, and again, the 2t comes down, and I'm going to do the log of 1.03. Uh, we get this, this value, 0 0.0128, OK? Now, if you want, I would say go ahead and multiply these two. That way you have this symbol or single number. Real simple. So two times that, we know we're going to end up with 0.0256t, like that. And at this point, we simply divide both sides. by that 0 0.0256. So when we divide 0 0.2824 by 0 0.0256, we get this value, approximately 11.03. I'm just going to stop it there. As a matter of fact, we'll get my squiggly lines. So that's what we're looking for. Now, what we're approximately looking for is time in years. Always know that time is in years. All right. Unless otherwise stated. So it's approximately 11 years. All right. So approximately 11 years that it will take for the investment of $3,040 to reach $5,824.95. And that is how you find time on compound interest.